So you need the USB-C board, small Phillips screwdriver, something to hold your screws and those kind of things. Some protective glasses and the controller, a Dremel, and a 1.5 millimeter drill bit, and a milling bit for the Dremel. I prefer to use a milling bit which has a ball nose head so it's rounded because that is a lot easier to mill away the plastic with it. The screws are pretty easy to get it out. Something that can be a bit hard, at least the first time, is to actually get the controller apart. So right where I'm holding my thumbs here, there are some notches that needs to be moved right here and then you kind of need to pull the controller apart like slide it slide the top part off and use something plastic for this unless you just don't care about damaging the plastic like I do while using a metal screwdriver just gently lift up the FPC cable and then you can remove the top part. And then you can remove this support structure thing and the glass which illuminates the front of the controller. And you can also just pull out the FPC cable. Then unscrew the screw that holds the USB PCB. This is also held down by a piece of tape, but you can just like pull it off. This entire video is unedited just so you can see how long it takes. So these are the areas that we need to cut out or mill away in order to get the PCB to sit deep enough in the controller. And we also need to extend the port so you can actually fit the cable and the connector into the PS4 controller. So I'm using a Dremel for this and I'm just gonna remove enough material that I can fit the USB-C connector and I kind of remove everything all the way to the top of the controller to the little space where the connector goes in because this circuit board has the connector on the top side of the board. It doesn't sit exactly where the original one did. Oops. Oh, got a bit caught there. And here you can see we mill away the structure on the inside. So the controller becomes completely flat on the inside.
and we don't mill the old screw hole structure and also not the guiding pin for the plastic. But just carefully remove all the supporting structure on the sides. We kind of just have to try and see, try to fit the board, see if you get it where you want, and then remove some more. This is, I think, my fourth or fifth controller, so I'm starting to get some of it. I left a little bit structure on the left side here. So the board will sit nice and even. On the inside. And then I'm just gonna try fit it. And it pops right in. Before you put it in where you want it to be, you need to take your drill and gently drill out this guiding hole so you can fit the screw in there. So I've drilled through the entire controller so the drill comes out on the other side. However, the mounting screw is just the right size, so it doesn't stick out. So when you look at the controller from the back side, you only see a perfect black dot. So it doesn't look bad. This is a carbide drill, so it's quite easy to just like drill it out with my hand. There you can see it sticks out on the side. Now mount the FPC cable and gently push down on the connector. There's a black latch that needs to be down. And just take the same screw that used to sit there, but now we put it in a different hole. Now we're putting the screw in the guiding hole. And by doing it like this, we get the board to sit a bit lower, so we have the connector on the top side of the board. Now it's time to just put everything back together. This part kind of latches down on this clear plastic piece. And I'm just checking if the USB-C connector is positioned right. I found it easiest to put the other part of the controller down. And 
and then just put it, putting it down like this. If you wonder what direction the FPC cable is going to be, you want the blue labels on it to face you when you're looking down into the USB-C port. So right now I'm just gonna test fit the connector, see if it there is enough room for it. And then click the button that enables the power. And it works. Now that I know that it works, the only thing that's left is to put the screws back on. And then you have USB-C in your controller. There is a video on how to order this. And there's a link in the description where you can find the other video on how to order it. So that's all. So you can join the Discord if you have any questions, ask any comment, and good luck on your mods.